It's your boy Emin Kizzle and let's talk art. Yeah, well, I've been doing music for uh, more than 10 years now. Uh, actually, I started down here uh, in St. Martin, uh, making own, my own beats and uh, write my own lyrics. Um, I have, I had a chance to work with all the all other local artists, such as uh, the Sound Twins, Red Eye Crew, Chromex, and a bunch of other uh, producers, and now, uh, Things really getting bigger, getting better, the music getting more professional and the work getting done. Well, when I, to tell the truth, when I started, you know, I started at a very, very young age, actually. Uh, it was when my brother used to go, uh, used to go club, I ended up staying home and I didn't have much to do. So I used to just like write over all the lyrics from, from the big tracks from back then, all of the Snoop Dogs and the Dr. J's and stuff. So I used to write back the lyrics and uh, study them by heart. Eventually, I started writing my own lyrics and uh, on my own beats. The first program I used to make my beats was like uh, EJ. That was a fun program. <laughs> uh, you know, just putting blocks together and stuff, making <laughs> different melodies and stuff. And from there, I started, you know, writing and composing uh, right at home. Uh, each time I had a chance, it was either in school or either music. Eventually, now I can't do it up music. It's been five years since I uh, left St. Martin to pursue my studies and uh, and management. Uh, objective the, the work continued. Also, we we decided to drop a couple of projects. We dropped a couple of mixtapes. My first mixtape was uh, "Back Like I Never Left." That was uh, totally inspired by by the homesick feeling and <laughs> and uh, all the rest. Uh, we had a chance to do a bunch of concerts also in different uh, towns. We did in Paris, we did in Toulouse, we did in uh, Cahors also. Um, me and my friends, like other fellows from St. Martin, you know, you might have heard of them, uh, Stack Boy and uh, Rude Lover, we decided to like work together and put our minds together in order to since we have, since we all have the same objective, we might as well work together in order to pursue, uh, you know, the big dream. And uh, we call ourselves Vazan. It's like vision with a swag, I guess. And uh, we just work together on all the aspect of music, aspects of music, such as uh, video editing, shooting, organizing uh, clips, events, uh, promoting our own events making our own mixtapes also, and of course recording our own tracks. Uh, being a student musician kind of hard because um, the f it's financially difficult. You know, it's hard because you gotta keep your money and stuff for all the different bills and uh, <laughs> food and all those type of hard stuff when you're going to school abroad. But we still managed to invest in um, all was material and stuff. So we had our own studio up there. We had all what we needed, uh, all the material we needed to work from, from music production to video editing and everything in between. Leave us 
gotta take my time. Act like that, gotta be one of a kind. Chill, I gotta make a man. Uh, I gotta make a man. You looking mighty fine. I gotta take my time. Act like that, gotta be one of a kind. Uh, uh, I gotta make a man. Red, red, I gotta make a man. She's so unique, so chic. No brain, but no geek. Got my mind on repeat like a dope check. Pit it to a love like this, a snapback. And you was there when my was in trouble. Best believe you gonna be there when I pop no bubble. I'm taking off like NASA in a rap game. When if we end up splitting up, that's a damn shame. Them other hook love the life, but don't love a nigga. And if I ever end up in a talk, it be like bad. I tried and tried and talking about your ball, and that was just a bunch of bunch of lies. I gotta take my time, act like that, gotta be one of a kind. I gotta make a man, I gotta make a man. You looking mighty fine, I gotta take my time, act like that, gotta be one of a kind. I gotta make a man, red, red, I gotta make a man. The French rap scene is very interesting because they really embrace the whole culture and the whole uh, rap scene when it comes to street stuff and all that type of uh, different um, different thing. But they're very conservative at the end of the day, so they really like to hear like what the Americans doing. They ain't really willing to bring their own uh, taste to it. The thing with um, with them French people is that the the lyrics. The lyrics are very deep. They really the write in a poetic manner, like really, like some uh, sensitive concepts and some deep, 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 deep subjects. But at the end of the day, it's it a song a lot like old school hip hop. I think they more like to keep it that way, keep it old school with a kind of Wu Tang Clan feeling, uh, feeling to it. Uh, but the new guys, they ain't really bringing that new to the to the whole plate, you know. That's why I realized. And I was up there, I was rapping in English, but the whole problem was when you're listening to to rap, you, you're listening mainly to the lyrics. When you listen to Bachata, maybe you're listening to the vibes, you're dancing to it and stuff. But when you're listening to rap, you're essentially listening to the lyrics. Therefore, if you're in a country where you can't understand the lyrics, you can't be too mad at them because uh, you just in the wrong place. So stuff used to be advancing in France because we had to always keep a kind of balance in between a, 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 a fun track, make it be the, make it be vibeful, you know, for people to be able to uh, to dance to it and stuff. But there always was a limit since they wasn't understanding, they, they never used to understand anything we were saying. So that was kind of difficult. That's why I decided to like move to London in September. Maybe hopefully I might have a couple of better opportunities over there, you know. Even with the Amaka the Amaka effort we are done putting in, in the work, if we go over there and do the same Amaka effort, we're probably gonna be getting way more results. Just by the fact that they understand and already what we're saying. I had to take aspiration from every single thing. What I had to try to do is try to have adventures and after, you know, just bring it all back to the studio. I had to have uh, inspiration from anything, whether it's a good day or a bad day, or uh, my girlfriends, or the, the clubs, or the, the, the clothes, or the problems even, the, the, 
the hard times you just have sometimes in life, you know. Anything can be an inspiration, I believe. And um, I really started making music thanks to Luke Chris and the Lil Wayne's and the Jay-Z's and, of course, all the rest. But um, to me, nowadays, when you're listening to what's on the TV or on the radio, you realize that something's wrong and they need a breath of fresh air. Something, you know, it kind of saturated, it kind of like the machine like stuck or something <laughs> and they need something fresh, something new. Now we're just trying to see how uh, we can bring a little bit of innovation to this rap stuff because if we stay on the same lane, it's probably going to die out in five years, five to ten years. So we just got to bring something new, maybe from a different type of music perhaps, you know, bring a little ja touch of jazz to it or add a little salsa or anything. And now with this thing on the boundaries, you know, I ain't signed to nobody, therefore I have no kind of creative boundary. I have to respect no kind of uh, no kind of rule and or regulation based on the type of music I doing. I just trying to do what I love most and try to make sure that they like it also. The people who listen, the fans and stuff. So that's just my only balance. Make sure that it stays innovative as possible, but it still pleases to the most people. All in the same time. Well, making videos is actually pretty interesting. It's it's a very very uh, different uh, task that I'm I wasn't used to before. You have to listen to the song a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, over and over, and you have to like just meditate on visuals, like meditate on what the song like allows you to see and sometimes you could go very 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 far you know you, with little means of budget you can make some really original videos and that's what I like about it you could go very very far in your concept and in your ideas in order to create visuals for the song that you made um, I ain't too good at them programs and stuff so I, had, I always struggle but I believe that you could, you could teach yourself anything you know so what we started off on, we started off on Sony Vegas. That was an interesting program because it's kind of simple, but you can still do a lot of, you could still do clean work with it. You could still do like a couple of cool uh, transition and stuff. And uh, now we're trying to move on to the more professional programs such as the final cuts and stuff. It's harder, but the result is better. Therefore, we have to focus on improving our quality and getting to learn that program as good as possible to create even better work for the fans. Social media is very important nowadays, like the most effective tool of marketing like ever <laughs> since it's, it's free. And that's one of the major parts. You could actually connect with thousands and thousands of people for free just based on the friends you have in common. So that's a very, very interesting thing because you could actually reach and reach reach out to people in different countries and reach out to some people you might never imagine will actually fall on your music just by uh, coincidence. And um, I believe that, you know, you mustn't generalize it either. I mean, like, social media is just a tool. Therefore, you still have to be in the streets and you still have to be out and about and going around and stuff. And put all that stuff right back on the social media for them to see that you you really working. You ain't just behind your computer making your music and just pretending to be a, a superstar because you have a certain amount of fans and stuff. It don't work like that. You have to actually interact with those people online and offline in the streets and back on the internet. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> Yeah, I did a lot of collaboration with different artists. I had a chance to work with uh, Ape, which is like a super big artist from France. Uh, he came out a couple of years ago. He's, uh, his name is Ape from uh, the group Centres. Uh, I had a chance to work also with um, Jekyll. 
Jekyll is an artist from uh, Biso na Biso. They had a, a big uh, time of glory too at that point in time. I also work with a lot of um, local artists. Like I said, uh, Stack Boy, uh, I have tracks with Good Lover, uh, I have tracks with uh, G Depp, uh, I have tracks with a lot of, a lot of other fellas. A couple of Toulouse rappers also uh, I had a chance to work with, you know. Since we were up there, we had, a, we had to link up, of course. I find people down here ain't motivated enough. That's plain and simple. I mean, like, what, are, what we do, eh, nothing extraordinary. It's work that we, uh, that we do. We just try find different ways to put in work, find where we ain't putting in enough work, and try just like patch up the work, <laughs> patch it, patch it all up. But down here they have, I believe that they have uh, like the goal ain't far enough. If they were to see how far we could actually reach, we don't have to like settle for this minimum stuff. We could reach bigger than all the other artists. Huh? Because when you actually listen to what they're doing, and not mm, extraordinary uh, out of this world that they're doing, they're doing the same, same stuff, just on another level, because they've been, they've been doing it for like 20 years, 25 years. So of course, eventually they reach to the top. But if you don't take it seriously from the beginning, you might not reach anywhere anytime soon. And that's what I believe. There's a lot of incredible talent in St. Martin. Like, we, down here, it's like a melting pot when it comes to culture. With all the more than a million tourists per year and all the different people from different islands and different backgrounds and all that type of stuff, normally we should be able to like create more stuff that people never heard of. Whereas there, they're just settling on doing what's already been there and doing stuff that resembled too much what they're putting out currently, you know? We should like bring our, our own taste to it because indeed we are on an island and it have a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of influences. So we should maybe use it a little bit more, I believe. They have a lot of talent. When you don't have fellas rapping, rapping, they will be rapping. They could, some of them will rap just as good as me. Mm -hmm. But after, uh, we all have a good time in the studio and then as soon as they come out of the studio, the job, like they finish. They're going back to the usual stuff and going back to the daily routine. But the job that's supposed to be like go beyond the studio, you know. You do what you have to do and then you bring it out in order for people to listen to it. You can't just keep on making music like, Okay, if you're doing it for therapeutic reasons, okay, you need to like listen to what you have to say and you listen to it to motivate yourself. That'll work also. I had to do it. <laughs> they got some tracks people you can never hear. I just kept them to myself and voila. But I mean like with all the talent and stuff, well might as well try, you know, see where it can take you. It not make no sense holding yourself back. Especially when you got the the the, the, the talent and the the facility to do it, you know. The the help we just get from all the different um, the all the different places, like the different companies in St. Martin. I find it's kind of hard when it comes to our radio stations and stuff like that to get local music played. I find you don't hear it enough. For the amount of music that's getting done on the island, you don't hear enough music on the radio, local music on the radio. And that's a kind of a big problem to me. I mean like we're going to hear them local, them uh, international music in the club anyway, and we're going to see it on TV anyway, so might as well just give us the, the radio part, you know. At least that, that could be done. The only way to play yourself is if you stop. But if you actually continue, you're bound to get better, you're bound to improve in quality and then um, efficiency. And that's the whole point of it. All you have to do is hold on hold on and keep keep improving it, keep trying to find what's wrong, where the problem is at, and just keep a, 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 a whole mind, mind set of um, improvement, you know? Just trying to get better, and that's the only way. Imagine if we keep this pace up, just at the same pace for like 10 years. 
we bound to reach some place, some place back would be even further than we all imagine. But ain't got no reason why you should not go that way, you know. So I yeah. We met at the no place, la my boy. Check the vibes, la yeah. M and K. On a flight on the jet, fell off from the light, and fell to the taffy on the devil in number one. So I fly from the jet, toujours dans ma maison. Personne peut me stop, but pick the mic on. On a flight on the jet, fell off from the light, and fell to the taffy on the devil in number one. So I fly from the jet, toujours dans ma maison. Personne peut me stop, but pick the mic on. Stand and ovation, niggas like how come? Just started a play, but we all know the outcome. They told me life is hard, well, guess what? I'm harder. I don't need a passing class to show you that I'm smarter. Victim the backstabbing, bleeding on the inside. I see so many wrongs as I try to see the flip side. Life got me begging like a peasant. The only thing that's relevant is the talent that I got for the flow and rhymes. Nickels and dimes, bitches and money, somehow it keeps coming from me. Every day I feel like something new is stolen from me. That's what I go on, and you don't really understand. My name shall survive through the storm. Barehanded, my fingers in the warm. I'm trying to stay calm, but they don't really know the that I'm on. So I'm gone. On the flight, on the jet, on. Fell from the light, on. And her to the day, Keeps it 100, big face switching gears, no stick shift pumping in the veins like syringes. And when they taking a break, I'm probably putting in work, cause perfection is key. Enough hours to go berserk. But the doors of opportunity won't open themselves Whoever lay the airs on the art Gotta be overwhelmed I guess I really got something going on Please let my peers know that I'm here to stand That's for pretty long And as I pierce the game No brass none Stay up out of bigger to these No orphan I'm often on a plane going somewhere awesome 30,000 feet I think you lost them they can't conceive the idea that I'm better than them. Levi's blue jeans, there is no better than them. Stay fresh as I hope for the best. Expect the worst, but won't settle for less. On the flight, on the jet, on. Fell off from the light, on. And her to the taffy, on. The devil in number one. So I fly from the jet, on. Toujours on my mission. Person to me stop. The pick the mic it on. On the flight, on the jet, on. Fell off from the light, on. And her to the taffy, on. The devil in number one. So I fly from the jet, on. Toujours on my mission. Person to me stop. The pick the mic it on. One, two, three. Kizzy motherfucking haters keep on hating. Coming like a fucking while you procrastinate. And yeah, my life is that good. I don't exaggerate. Cause while I'm puffing on the push, my entrance accelerates. And no time to spare. So while I'm here, please let us go. They see my swag now, they copy that tenfold. It's all man, so I don't owe nobody. Jackie never saw me leave. Cause I'm already. What's bigger than your mind is my imagination Better than your favorite, no hesitation What's bigger than my trunk is that chick So please get my glasses, I'm on to the next one And I won't stop till I reach my perfection Showing up my flag like I'm running the election You acting like you can't see, but your chick seen That I'm not asleep, but I'm living the dream History and American, can you see? Do I keep it to life? One, two, three, I'm about to Three and a making can't you see? 
Do I keep it simple as one, one two, two, three? Bad melody, speed in one, one, two, two three. three. Bad scoop of your bitch is one, two, three. three. Here's the re and I'm making it to see. Do I keep it simple as one, one two, two, three? Bad melody, speed in one, one, two, two, three. Bad scoop of your bitch is one, one, two, two three. three. It's your boy Emin Kizzle, and this was Talk Art. Deuce! Anamana mana. mana.